Hey love, so I'm here guys to do read for cancer. This is going to be for cancer, all house placements. You know what to do if the messages resonate. Take them if they don't leave them here, all right? Newbies, cross watchers, you're welcome. This is Red from Cancer's point of view. If you wish to book with me, shop with me, all that information is listed in the description box below. All right. Let's see her. Hmm. I wonder what that was about. <clears throat> messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. Uh -huh. What's these three cards just flew out for you? The three of pentacles, the five of cups, and the five of swords. We saw the ten of swords have flipped out along with the eight of pentacles. Let's see here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, it came out anyway, so I guess it was meant to be out then. I want to know what this Three of Pentacles energy is, though. How it correlates to all of this here for Cancer. Yeah, so it's, whatever this is, is incoming. All right. Um, The Five of Cups energy is here. Something didn't work. Something didn't work. Something's not working. There could be a group of people working together, trying to devise a plan, come up with a plan, and the shit's not working. Eight of Pentacles, like someone could be trying to figure out how to do something. All right. Is uh, what's the Five of Cups? I, I'm sorry, y'all, because I just don't like messages like this to come out all the time. Yeah. Why do I feel like this is somebody who wants to? Somebody's trying to figure out what to do because something's not going the way that they want it to. Okay. The way that they planned something out, they thought they had their plan all together, whomever this is. All right. Why do I feel that way? Because the magician has all the tools he needs, but he shows up in the reverse. Somebody thought they had it all figured out. Somebody thought they had every little piece of something that they needed. But they don't. They don't. Somebody wants to state three facts, three scenarios, or three things, okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> Y'all probably like, Tona, what the fuck you laughing at? I'm laughing because, y'all, I feel like someone's coming in with the intention to, like, ruin your happiness. You're, like, happy. You're emotionally fulfilled. Everything's going well for you. And did somebody's come up with some bright fucking idea how to cause you a hardship or how to put you through some sort of fucking turmoil or some shit like that. And then with the moon here with the ten of wands, the devil, and the page of cups to the six of, like, I've already dealt with this before. And now I do you one better. Not only have you dealt with this before, but you've overcome it. Or you could have been, been coming out of a situation where, I, whatever this is, y'all. I feel like you know how to deal with these types of situations and or these types of people, okay? I want you to take it how it resonates, love, life, work, or family. But you know how to deal with this. Like, you already know how to handle these types of situations, these types of people. Like, something was meant to bother you. But with the five of swords, I feel like, I don't even, I feel like you're unbothered, okay? Look at this, the eight of pentacles. I'm telling you. Like, this is somebody, I also see somebody blaming two other people like, you didn't do it right. Like, you're yeah, upset with like two other people like, you didn't do it right or you didn't do it the way I had planned it out. Yeah, the three of cups. I really feel like, I really, really feel like this is three people, three egos. Three egos being fucked up. Three people learning a lesson. It's one of you, it's three of them or some shit like this, all right? They also said this person can have like three personalities. So maybe they act one way in front of you, one way in front of family, and then one way in at work or some shit like that, right? Empress is at the bottom of that. King of Cups, the lovers, the nine of pentacles, nine of swords, two of cups. Yeah, for some of you, this could be a situation that you had also freed yourself from. So I just do want to say that. Um, tell me more about the Ten of Swords for Cancer. Look at this. The Five of Wands. The Hanged Man. <sighs> I 
Why well, do I feel like there's like a lot of people in the uproar, Cancer? You being cool, calm, and collected because I've already dealt with this before. I've already done this before. I've already been in, already been in this scenario before. I know how shit like this plays out. So I feel like you're cheating, you're, you're chilling because you're enlightened already. You know, this is what I'm saying. I feel like you've experienced something already before. So it's a small thing to a giant for you, whatever the situation is. But I don't understand why somebody would do this. Like, what's the rationale behind this? And it's creating actually an issue for them in their lives, a tower moment here. Um, guys, it doesn't have to be this big, huge thing. This could be something very small, right? Ace of Cups out. I want to look at this energy separately so we can... Let me put it over here so y'all can really visualize. Um, I, I want to take a look at that. Let's see why that came out because I, I don't feel like it has much to do with this over here. Tell me more about this magician and the three of pentacles in the reverse. Like, what's the underlying reason? What's the rationale for this bullshit that whoever this is is pulling? Like, somebody is like, all we got to do is this. And somebody else like, yeah, because look at this. And somebody else like, hmm. <laughs> no, motherfuckers, no. Tell me more about this energy here. The star and the knight of cups. <laughs> I know they lying. Now, Cancer, I want you to be mindful of what I'm about to say to you. Somebody may offer you a position. There's a position that may be offered to you. Um, that could appear to be something of your dreams or something that, that's like, oh, okay, this could be a great idea. But then I feel like it pushes you like this. Are like people, it's giving flunky is what it's giving. It's giving people pushing their work off on you. All right. Three people that are, that don't have to give because if you accept this, right, like they don't have to do, they got more time to focus on the things they want to focus on. Right. But I really don't feel like you're accepting this. I just really don't. Like, I, I'm looking at this and I'm like, Cancer's not accepting this. Tell me more about that magician, though. In the regards. Because they, like, they really think they got it all figured out. The high priestess. I heard plot. I heard plan. I heard secrets. Um, intuitively, you may feel like there's something going on behind the scenes, but you just don't know what. Tell me. You look at this, the Nine of Swords and the Page of Swords. You're actually waiting on this communication going to come in. Or when it comes in, you're not surprised at all, okay? You feel like this is what this person was going to do or this is what they do when you've just been waiting for it. Like, for a lot of you, if this is a retrograde situation, you're looking at the situation like it, was only, it wasn't that long before you showed back up in my life anyways to jump off with this bullshit, you know? It's like somebody's circling a dead-ass situation, dead-ass issue or some shit like this. Hmm. Nine of Cups in the Tower. You're not interested. Five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine. You know what this also could be? People plotting or planning or trying to figure out how, how to get you to give them some information, to give them a piece or part of something that's yours, a blessing you have coming in. Like they want to, they want to be in on whatever this is. All right. They could, th so this could go two ways. They're either plotting against you, but they're still plotting against you. I don't give a fuck. Just because they're not doing anything, quote unquote, to harm you and you would freely give these things doesn't mean that is there's not ill intent there and the reason i feel like there's still ill intent cancer is because like i said um this is something you had no intention on sharing this is this could be sacred information as well sacred information on how to do something correctly all right for some of you spiritualists this could be someone asking you how to do something that they can't seem to get right as well all right others of you this is just like people who want to want you to either share something with them or they want you they want you to lighten their burden in some sort of way just put it that way all right but whatever this is like you know how this plays out this this could also be a job or some shit like that that people are like want you to take um or a position they want you to take and you can see a lot of people fighting over it but maybe you're the one who they want and you don't want it because you recognize that it's a setup for failure here all right 
Tell me more about the Nine of Cups for Cancer. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. I'm telling you, like, they're coming in. Like, here's a little more money. Here's a raise. Here's something here. Think about it. You may even debate it because you may feel like this could make something easier or lighten a burden for you. What, look at this. No, it's going to make shit harder. You go from a nine of wands to a ten of wands, it makes some shit harder. It's in ten of wands to the ten of swords. Like, I don't like it. But you've experienced something in this realm before. You've already been down this avenue before. So you're highly acutely aware that this is the way it'll play out. You're going to be the one fucked and screwed in the end. So I would just steer clear of all of this. What is this Ace of Cups for Cancer? The Lovers. And the two of uh, wands. So some of you are going to have the choice between doing this with these people or a new job. To going back with this person or a new person. You know, it's something like this. You're the ace of wands. You know better. You're enlightened now. You recognize something about this previous relationship here. Or this previous, you've learned your lesson from whatever this is. These are like people who were put placed in your life simply to help, te you know, for you to learn a lesson. So they're literally just characters, all right? Page of Pentacles with a fortune. See, this time you're not going to be so quick to jump. You're going to actually think about the future. You're going to think about the future and how this could affect you. Or even if this is just one particular area of your life that you're concerned about it affecting, you're looking at that now. Where I think before you would not have, all right? You maybe would have jumped at this opportunity. Yeah. But it's like, you know, you're, you're choosing stability over promises of big, huge blessings. All right. Um, yeah, this is like something in the past that didn't really pan out. Like somebody thought made you think that something was going to be bigger than what it actually was or some shit like this. You simply just learned a lesson, Cancer. And somebody's trying to come in, trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So you'll fall for some shit that you've already been through before once again. All right. And I really feel like you're not going to do it. You, you see shit clearly. I'm not concerned about you in this situation. Yeah, look at this. Look at this shit. Oh, Lord. The four of swords to the seven of wands, the king of cups to the queen of cups. Yeah, I'm not worried about you. Because somebody's played this game. You just came out of some shit. You learned a lesson. You're leveling up here, all right, to Empress Energy. You're like, no, I'm not going down that road again. You may be coming out of something where you thought somebody was your divine kind of power or you thought that a job was, was exactly where we were supposed to be. Or like I said, a relationship was exactly where, where, where it was supposed to be. Or, you know, a relationship that has a dynamic to it other than love, okay? Romance. Romance. You thought that that person would be around forever and night and you learned your lesson about that. And so, like, I don't know if this person is coming back. If this is like a job offer you've had that's particular to this before, you just know better than to accept whatever this is, okay? You know much better than to accept whatever this is. So you're not taking it. I feel like you're not going to take it. You're going to wait for the greater, all right? Because there is greater that's coming in. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Seven of Pentacles and the Sun. Yeah, you're really, you know, you're gonna know. You, you, no, mm -mm, not at all. Not at all. You're looking at all the details of this now. All right. So you, you're gonna make good decisions. Like, yeah, this is good decisions and staying by yourself or doing something independently, avoiding some sort of t sort of turmoil because you've already been there, fucking done that. All right, loves. So this is pretty much a, a simple message here. So I'm going to leave this off right here. If it resonated, give it a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. And until next time, bye-bye.